Hello everyone. Welcome to He Info Channel. My name is Daisy. As you know, hyperlipidemia is very common. 93 million American adults, age 20 and older, have a total cholesterol count above the recommended limit of 200 mg per deciliter. Hyperlipidemia, high cholesterol, that's not treated can allow plaque to collect inside of your body's blood vessels, atherosclerosis. This can bring on hyperlipidemia complications that include heart attack, stroke. In this video, let's find out rosavastatin, a medicine used to treat high lipid blood levels. What is rosavastatin? What kind of drug is rosavastatin? Rosavastatin, also known as the brand name Crestor, is a lipid-lowering medication belonging to the statin group. It is exactly an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor, which is used together with diet to reduce the risk of cardiovascular events, including myocardial infarction and stroke. What is rosavastatin used for? The FDA monograph states that rosavastatin is indicated as an adjunct to diet in the treatment of triglyceridemia, primary dyspatelipoproteinemia, type 3 hyperlipoproteinemia, homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia. While, the Health Canada monograph for rosavastatin further specifies that rosavastatin is indicated for the reduction of elevated total cholesterol, total C, LDLC, ApoB, the total C slash HDLC ratio and triglycerides, TG, and for increasing HDLC in hyperlipidemic and dyslipidemic conditions when response to diet and exercise alone has been inadequate. It is also indicated for the prevention of major cardiovascular events, including risk of myocardial infarction, non-fatal stroke, and coronary artery revascularization in adult patients without documented history of cardiovascular or cerebrovascular events, but with at least two conventional risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Who cannot use rosavastatin? Rosavastatin is contraindicated in patients with documented problems related to untreated decreased level of thyroid hormones, dehydration, alcoholism, a hemorrhage in the brain, liver failure, liver problems, acute kidney failure, bloody urine, a condition with muscle tissue breakdown called rhabdomyolysis, memory loss, high blood sugar, elevation of proteins in the urine, pregnancy, a patient who is producing milk and breastfeeding, muscle pain or tenderness with increased creatine kinase, metabolic syndrome X, immune-mediated necrotizing myopathy, chronic kidney disease stage 4, severe, chronic kidney disease stage 5, failure, kidney disease with likely reduction in kidney function, child pew class A liver impairment, child pew class B liver impairment, child pew class C liver impairment. What are the side effects of taking rosavastatin? Common rosavastatin side effects may include Feeling sick, nausea, stick to simple meals and do not eat rich or spicy food. Headaches. Make sure you rest and drink plenty of fluids. Stomach pain. Try to rest and relax. Feeling weak or dizzy. Constipation. Protein in your pee, urine. In rare cases, rosavastatin can cause a condition that results in the breakdown of skeletal muscle tissue. This may lead to kidney failure. Call your doctor right away if you have unexplained muscle pain, tenderness, or weakness especially if you also have fever, unusual tiredness, or dark-colored urine. Let's deeper in the detailed information of rosavastatin. Pharmacodynamics Rosavastatin competitively inhibits HMG-CoA reductase enzyme selectively and reversibly. This enzyme plays an important role in converting HMG-CoA to mevalonic acid in the cholesterol biosynthetic pathway. Rosavastatin therefore decreases hepatic sterol synthesis, which, in turn, leads to a decreased concentration of hepatocellular cholesterol. 
Hepatocytes respond to this decreased intracellular cholesterol concentration by increased synthesis of LDL receptors to enhance hepatic LDL reuptake from the circulation. The net result of this process is an increased fractional catabolism of LDL which reduces serum LDLC concentration and total cholesterol. Statins also reduce production of ApoB leading to reduced hepatic output of very low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, VLDLC, and triglycerides. How does rosavastatin work? Rosavastatin is a specific inhibitor of the hepatic HMG-CoA reductase in humans. The inhibition of this enzyme produces a reduction in cholesterol biosynthesis as HMG-CoA reductase activity is an early limiting step in cholesterol biosynthesis. The inhibitory mechanism of action produces a reduction in cholesterol synthesis which in order has been observed to increase the number of LDL receptors on cell surfaces and an enhancement in receptor-mediated metabolism of LDL and clearance. On the other hand, rosavastatin-driven inhibition of LDL production inhibits hepatic synthesis of VLDL as the LDL is the precursor for these molecules. Half-life The elimination half-life, T1 half, of rosavastatin is approximately 19 hours and does not increase with increasing doses. What does rosavastatin do for a person? For the treatment of hyperlipidemia in adults. The recommended starting at 10 mg to 20 mg orally once a day. Then lipid levels should be analyzed within 2 to 4 weeks of initiation or titration and the dosage adjusted accordingly. The maintenance dose is 5 to 40 mg slash day administered on a once a day schedule without regard to meals. Patients can use the same dosage for treating hyperlipoproteinemia type 3, elevated beta VLDL plus IDL, hypertriglyceridemia, atherosclerosis, homozygous familial hypercholesterolemia or prevention of cardiovascular disease. Should rosavastatin be taken in the morning or night? You can take it at any time, but it's best to take it at the same time every day. Rosavastatin will not usually upset your stomach, so you can take it with or without food. Swallow rosavastatin tablets whole with a drink of water. That's all information we collected. Like, share and subscribe for he info if you like this video.